Hey guys, what's up? It's Trittany with the Crown and Castle Collective, where we're all kings and queens of our own kingdom that we call life. But in fact, today we're actually not going to be just kings and queens. We are going to be super heroes, okay? So this is kind of a fun and creative pick a card reading. I have never ever done anything silly and whimsical like this really with tarot. So I'm really interested in letting my creative side flow. So there are three options for your superhero pile. Each of them are paired with your super villain, okay? Who are you up against? So we have this pile number one, this black kyanite. It's super spiky and just definitely totally looks like something like came out of the sky. I don't know. Pile number two, you have a little piece of moldavite, which actually is from the sky. It's a tektite, so it's actually from a meteor that has crashed and hit earth and then we also have a big blue rainbow moonstone palm stone okay this thing has super reflective value to it so you're gonna go ahead and choose your pile the timestamps will also be provided below so you can click on that like that and then i'm also going to draw from this little ceramic bowl that i made uh it's going to show us what your greatest weakness is and that could be something from weaponry to something very silly even so this is just for fun so if you feel like it even resonates somehow part of your life then let me know in the comments please give me a like if you're up for something whimsical and fun like this and subscribe to see other videos on my channel i do pick a card readings and also follow me on Instagram where I try to post just daily energy updates. And I'm also on Facebook as well. And a lot of chances for free readings go up on there. So I have a deal running right now until this weekend where you can enter in to win a free small reading. I believe that's it. So without further ado, get your cape on, get your cup of kryptonite or not. And we'll get started with pile number one, this black Kyanite. <sighs> All right, superheroes, let's go. Pile number one, Black Kyanite. Let's see what you're working with, what you got. Let's just, let's just see. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna just, I guess I'm gonna flip all of them over for you and your super villain. Okay, so pile number one, your superpower I'm seeing as someone who is very psychic and someone who is very um, of the forest, okay? So we have this number 15, yes, Revelations. This is kind of like the Doctor Strange energy, okay? He's just super mystical, seeing the universe, seeing what's ahead, what has been and what will be. Just someone that is very large, okay? You're a very big superhero or heroine. And I'm actually going to draw your weakness. Now that we know that your strength is psychic abilities and just being really in tune with nature. And I feel like you are able to call upon those animals that are in there. What is pile number one's greatest weakness? Okay, so the thing is, you may be very of the forest, okay? This forest vibes I'm getting here is from this green dragon, and I'm also getting those psychic abilities as well because those do tend to come from Mother Earth herself, Gaia, just very earthly energies. And this green dragon right here, 
very foresty. It says, helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature aligned with your divine essence. Okay, so I'm just getting that you are able to really call upon those foresty animals. But you have to be careful who you call because your weakness happens to be dogs and cats. <laughs> so you just might have to be careful who you call. Uh, that could be a lot of other forest animals other than cats, apparently. So like feline animals, mountain lions, stuff like that, lynx. Uh, the dogs, you know, you got to be careful for wolves. And I'm feeling like your arch nemesis also tends to creep around your neck of the woods. So you are very much always on defense and this dragon is holding the key. So thank you for protecting your kingdom or your tribe. You could be the magi of a tribe as well. Because I'll get into it. Okay, so your superpowers, again, with that psychic abilities, you have the Ace of Swords, which is someone who is very, very psychically aware and able to fight against those. And you could have a type of sword as well that you have something that you've coin coined yourself or made yourself from the woods because this is in your appearance is that Seven of Swords. You are very big. You're very big and burly and protective of your tribe and your kingdom and your forestry. You could have a staff or a sword, something that you are able to swing around. And you could wear something very drape-like, of course. And also with your psychic ability, you had that Ace of Cups. Notice this swirling around her head. She's very in tune and very much aware. Those Ace of Cups is someone that doesn't always know things. Well, for you, you know things and you feel things. And I feel like that's what allows you to kind of predict the future a little bit. And so also with your appearance, you have this Hierophant. So this is someone who is very seeked out in your village, in your tribe. People respect you. You are very high on the pedestal as well. And we do have a very common theme of birds. So with you being that forestry, you could really call upon birds. I feel like you can send messages to and fro, especially with this revelations. You can send messages to yourself in the future. You can send messages to people in the now, very far away. Have that psychic ability to get in, what is that called in people's head? Is it like telekinesis, I believe? And that's kind of what the Hierophant is also too, about sacred knowledge going into that. So I feel like you have a very magical gift that has been anointed to you that maybe you are in some secret society as well and are very pronounced in it all right so let's get into your super villain they have this number 46 time to reflect i feel like this could be a long lost relative of yours a friend of yours someone that you were close with and that may look very similar to you but in a different aspect where if you are light they are dark and they also have this very uh, male malicious, maleficent, I don't know. They show up as the alpha dragon. Harness the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old. Visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world. Okay, so your enemy, you are very much earthly of the forest, very grounded. I feel like this energy happens to be mankind or people coming to destroy the forest and deforestize take down your trees and burn everything that you have and whatnot. So your person is just very new age, okay? And their powers, they can tend to like get into your forest, okay? This person is a little bit bored. This is the Four of Cups boredom. So I feel like when you or people that you are protecting happen to be wandering throughout the forest, the forest can get very dark, very scary and can tend to get inside people's minds. But their weakness is the wheel, and this is time. And again, you are able to predict the future, so this person, your arch nemesis, can be very caught off guard by you. But they are very, very cunning, okay? Because this is the wheel, and it's all about weaving. They're weaving a shirt, so... This may be someone that 
that attacks but then withdraws and then comes back and attacks again when it's safe or someone that only returns every so many years as well because they show up in their appearance as the fool okay and these are also kind of like mountains as well if they control people's mind they can make people go off mountains who knows but this is a very come and go villain so you are always there and always protecting your village and i feel like your gifts are something that are passed down from generation to generation to prevent these evil forces from returning once again the evil forces of mankind so i thank you for protecting your village and protecting our kingdom this was just kind of silly and whimsical so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time Okay, pile number two, you have the Moldavite. Let's look at what you're working with. All right, so I'm just going to pull what your guys' greatest weakness is. <laughs> okay. So I'm seeing your superpower does tend to be more of a community role as well. I do see you as a very intelligent superhero as well. Someone who is able to feel like this is very, very witchy status. You are able to transmute a lot of potions and a lot of works. I'm kind of getting like your superpower is that like your mom <laughs> because you have this number 42 this is achievement I always see these as three people that he is watching over and always taking care of so you are able to take care of those around you very much and just by being there and being present and being there consistently every day and doing the things that you do so you also have the gold and silver violet flame dragon. It says it transmute the old around you with wisdom and grace. It's time for transmutation, magic, and healing. Offer service under grace. So I feel like you are just a very healing energy. That maybe you are able to heal people with your radiance and with your potions and with your magic. Because you also have the sun, which is about that vibrancy of healing, of healing children um just a very warm energy and you also have the seven of pentacles with your with your magic abilities and this is someone who is very intelligent and very innovative with their creations and with their passions and you are just a very light-hearted innocent superhero or heroine and the way that you appear is this five of swords. You could look anywhere from just always relaxed, but then you could also look super sexy and very playful. And you also have that with the chariot. And this is kind of more of an um, exotic deck, if you will. But you are always ready and always on the go. If you are always in dresses, you got the mobility, you got the kicks. You will do anything to defend your family and friends. And you're always just creating new potions, new um, concoctions, new recipes. 
You are very resourceful with the things that you find. You could be a gatherer. But your weakness, your weakness is veggies. Okay? It's probably backwards, but... Um, if you had kids, this could be your greatest weakness is getting them to eat veggies. Uh, maybe if you are concocting certain potions and whatnot, uh, veggies are a no-no. Maybe veggies make the person turn into a potato. Maybe it makes them turn green. Who knows? Maybe they grow roots for feet. You are a magical being, okay? So you gotta be careful with what you're putting in there because you don't know what kind of side effects those kind of roots have or what kind of pesticides they've been sprayed with, you don't know. So, your arch enemy is this number 24, let two become one. So this could be someone that was a part of your family, a part of your tribe, someone that was very close to you that left to the dark side, okay? And you were like, no, -uh -uh -uh, I am this queen, king, beam of light, okay? I'm over here taking and healing all my people, and you just, you couldn't ride with that. You could not ride with that. And it's weird because they are also reflecting the same pink energy as you, but theirs is the emerald dragon that brings in healing and cosmic abundance. But I, I'm not really getting the reading that's on this card because obviously it's just super villain. But I feel like this was like a long lost spouse that turned evil on you. Kind of turned against the community itself too. We have the six of stones, this exploitation. And all of the hives are destroyed. The people are without food. People are in a famine and the fields are burning. This is someone that turned against their own people. And you stayed and were just like the backbone of the community. That helped people rebuild the society, rebuild the fields. And now it's better than ever baby you are a powerful oh maybe you're like green ivy and like you can like grow things okay very manifestation very blooming energy and you can do it fast too fast 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 so their weakness is this five of bows empowerment and this is kind of like notice how big and exposed this this is on the hillside, like all the grass is gone in those areas, like how they burned it. Everyone knows what they look like. Everyone recognizes them. They cannot just come around without being noticed. So this is a very sneaky vil villain, <laughs> very sneaky, well-known person. So they cannot go out very often, or if they do, they go out in the nighttime and you are strong in the day, so they know that they cannot be out there in the sun. That's when you are in your most power. But like I said, this person is very well known, very noticeable. So the way that they appear is this wheel of fortune. This person may have a shape-shifting ability and always has to come around in a disguise because they will get noticed. And with this wheel, I always feel like it's around and around and around, like Maybe they are terrorizing the community and always destroying the things, but you are always there to just sprout it back and stronger than it was before with your healing abilities and growing abilities. It's beautiful. So this is just kind of a really weird, fun reading. So if it somehow did resonate to you in your lifestyle, Go ahead, give me a like or a comment to let me know how your superpowers work for you. Or subscribe to see more pick a card readings here on my channel. And I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and all those links are below. And as well as for Facebook, there is a chance for a free reading if you register for that before this Saturday as of this video being posted. And I believe that's everything. So thank you guys and I will see you next time. Okay, pile number three, the blue pearl moonstone, or blue rainbow moonstone. All right, let's see what you're working with.
So for you, pile number three, I'm getting a very Rapunzel-based story. So I'm going to go ahead and pull your weakness. What is pile number three's greatest weakness? Okay, so you have this number 32, this steadfastness. You are someone that is not going to give up. You're going to persevere through all of your challenges. And as well, you are a very big, burly, strong superhero, okay? Nothing can contain you, and nothing can contain you for too long. So your superpower also has this crystal yellow dragon that opens you to higher learning, um, walk the higher spiritual path of life. So that doesn't really quite matter, but you could be again, just that very like strong, unbreakable energy, very strong yellow as in the solar plexus. And this is actually, I was going by the dragon. So you are just a very confident, very strong onward persevering superhero. So with your abilities i feel like you are able to transmute into different animals as well we have the moon card and if you notice there is a little kitty cat but as he looks in the water he becomes a panther so that could also be your strength is bodies of waters in the moonlight or you could be someone that does transform during full moons And also your other strength, or I'm guessing this is more of a weakness, is this Nine of Swords. And this is kind of like you're trapped or you're only allowed to go out at night. Maybe you because you are only strongest at night. Or you could be held captive as well. And the way that you appear is this chariot card. So notice the light in the dark. So I feel like, again, you are only able to go out in the dark. And that is when you are able to transform into your, into your whatever animal or into a specific animal. But maybe the animal is always black as well because we have a black horse and we also have the black cats. But you are always on the run. So you could be an escapee as well. And you're also appearing as the hanged man. This is an explicit card. But the hanged man also I'm seeing as someone that is wanted. You could be a very mislabeled good guy <laughs> i don't know how else to put that uh maybe people found out about your superpower or that you were able to shape shift and everyone was like no we gotta find this person we gotta hold them captive we gotta run tests on them blah 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 but you are able to finally get on the run and escape so the person that you were up against or that may be holding you captive is this number two, be patient. So I feel like this is someone that you have been trapped under for quite some time, that you have been patient with as far as planning your escape. And they also show up as this lilac, lilac fire dragon that says, transmutes through the power of divine love. But of course this is a bad guy. So this could be someone that is smothering you with their attention. It could be someone torturing you. It could be an ugly stepmom. Because the way that they appear is this Ace of Swords. That is that torturer energy. This is someone that could be older as well. That is kind of kind of fading away. Definitely an evil stepmother vibe. Because their strength is that this Queen of Stones, this bear. This bear is trapped in this cave. And okay, it can't go out during the day. It's coming out during sundown. Just as this Nine of Swords is. But this bear is strong okay this bear has been pent up and ready to go ready to fight ready to maul so their strength may be in their knowing that they have you all to themselves have you all strapped down but their weakness is this king of bows king of bows these snakes so classic kind of trapped in the tower story maybe their weakness is your prince or princess charming that's going to pull you out of that cave. And that is their greatest weakness, is love. The same thing that they were using to smother you with. Um, I'm going to pull one more for your guys' weakness. Oh, this one fell out. Okay, your weakness is 
balance. And that makes a lot of sense. So you may be trying to balance your life because you don't have any day and nighttime balance. So it's hard for you to get out during the day. Um, it's hard to you to balance your love life with your prince or princess with being trapped or being held in jail, held captive and being tortured. It's hard for you just to balance your light in your dark aspects because you are a superhero you are a good guy but you are portrayed as a villain so it's hard for you to find that balance in yourself with knowing who you are and staying true to yourself but you are very strong-headed and very strong-willed and you know what's right but you just gotta escape first so this was just kind of silly and fun i've never done a reading like this if it somehow resonated to you in your personal life right now, go ahead and let me know in the comments how your superpowers are working for you. Uh, go ahead and like the video or subscribe to see more pick a card readings. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. There's a chance on Facebook right now to actually win a free reading by me if you like one of my pictures and comment your birthday. So all of that is posted in the links below. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.